Oh boy, was I not ready for this one. You may have seen in the video a little sneak peek about what's going on here, but I'm going to upload this video first and then that one. And these are going to be live videos because I don't have time to edit them right now. And they're short anyway, so whatever. But my friend called me and he was like, mate, you got to come to Target today, mate. You got to see the new stuff. I was like, what? He's like, it's a surprise. I know you haven't been outside your house for a long time because you've been really stressed out with your classes and you're an introvert, but, but mate, you, you got to step outside. I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. So I got in my car, I vroom vroom to Target, and lo and behold, we have some new Apple gift cards, yes. Also, you may remember, this is from one of the earlier videos. This packaging has some little fun goodies in it. I'm going to unveil it now. Also, if any of you have any old iTunes gift cards, let me know. I'm going to do something really cool with them. But, oh, come, come on. Come on. Get, get me. These are... Oh, that's the Mall of America. Oh, this is the Braille version. Oh, I didn't know I had those. But this is an iTunes card from 2009. This is what they um, used to look like. I don't remember when the first iTunes card came out. Because I don't have my phone down here or a computer that connects to the internet. I mean, we could open up the... I'll put it in post. How about, how about that? I'll, how about that? All right. But this one came out in 2010. Okay. So this one's 2010, 2011. So this was one of the later ones when the, when the iPhone 4 came out. And then you started to get these ones with the sleeves. If I can... It's, it's a tight fit. Apple, everything's got to be tight and nice. And you get this little card baggie. And there's your little Apple logo. This was 2015, 2014, around there. And then Apple has these gift business cards. And these business cards have not changed. I changed in, um, I think it's a little been over 20 years. Because when I bought my iMac, actually, wait, did I buy that one? No, I inherited that one from my grandparents. They still had the same design sticker so, but that's kind of cool. I didn't know I had those. But later on, we went to this design, which you could only get at the Apple stores. This was um, a 2015 version, and it has the same card in there, but this is an unboxing design for you. So you got to get in there. It's nice plastic. you got a nice, shiny Apple logo. Get, get, come, come here. Video time. And then it's just right in there, and it's just all hang out. We got... It's shimmering, and then on the back you have just your card, PC, your Mac, and a beautiful Apple logo. And then we went to this version. This was another Apple Store version where you have the Apple logo in there. And then the, the gift card here. And the reason why I collect these is because it was just a big part of Apple. The gift cards, getting the gift cards for Christmas, and then putting them in the iTunes Store to get music. And I don't remember when they came out, but I think it was around... 20 2005 because it was after the 99 cents a song thing and it was after you needed a credit card to get to itunes so i don't it 2005 but don't quote me on that but today um we also have apple care stickers so these ones came out what does this one say 2016 so this is the 2016 but it doesn't have the updated font so this was when the iPhone 6s came out when it was that kind of style font. I have a bunch of those. This was the new updated version and the new updated versions like they didn't come with these pretty colors. It was just the same one for each of the denominations. I mean the blue was really really nice. Oh that one's kind of ripped. Oh. Oh and it's my only. Oh that one's ripped. But um, then we went back in time, going back to when these things were available. At different denominations, you had different um, images, and they would look. And then you had the Apple Music 12 Months card, which looks like this, which you don't do anymore because now you just use this and you get so This was only for a very limited time. That's yeah, another Apple. But I'm mad. This this one was this this one is where's the where's my Ripter boy? He's kind of ripped. I don't know what happened. There's so much noise going upstairs. And that's just a receipt. But he's ripped. Oh, that's very sad. But yeah, if you do have any of these, just send them my way. I, I Anything that has an Apple logo on it. I mean, it, it's just... I don't know. It, it's, it's an addiction. And then for Christmas last year, they came out with these versions where they were like red and they were all super cool. But I don't see any new videos on these. And I think it's kind of an important step in Apple's history because... 
We've been using the same freaking cards like these things for the past three years now. I've come up across a lot of them, but people don't really buy these anymore. Um, usually I just get money and then I go put it into the iTunes account through the bank. Or I sometimes get a card if I really want one. I just noticed that one has a huge scratch right there and a huge scratch up there. This is actually something I found on the floor and just took it home. I thought it was just the coolest thing if I had an iTunes card. But we have all a bunch of these new ones here. And I hope you can see this and it's bright enough. But here are all the new designs for the cards. And we're going to do an unboxing of the cards. My first unboxing. And it cost me nothing. So I got them in all the colors and denominations because I really, really wanted to. So those are all the big ones. And now we have this one. And then that one's there. I got the $50 one because I like that the most. And I usually get the $100 ones for Apple Music. But we're going to open up these two because I don't like them as much. So my opinions on the coloring. Um, This one I really like because it's got a little crayon pastel. It kind of looks like a kid drew on it. It's very creative. I really like the shimmer. And then on the back, it lists all the stuff that like it goes with. You got your Mac, your iPhone, your iPad, your Apple Watch. App Store, Apple Arcade, Apple Music, although there's no News Plus on here. Funny, it's like the least service. It's the least used service, but the weird thing is, is when you go into Apple News, and this is why I kind of stopped using Apple News, and I just like Twitter better for news anyway, it's because every single article, it's like, you gotta get Apple News Plus, you gotta get Apple News Plus, Apple News Plus, Apple News Plus, Apple News Plus. it's annoying as crap. And so I don't know why it's not on there, but, you know, symmetricality. Also, don't know why AirPod Pros are on there because the Gen 1 AirPods are just better. Fight me. Fight me. I will. Those silicone tips get full of earwax. It's, I hate, this is why I love Apple headphones because they don't have the silicone stuff and it stays in your ears. And I'm a total Apple fanboy. And I was born to use these products because every single Apple design headphone works with me. Every single one. Even the pros do. Like, they don't fall out of my ears. And I do like the noise cancellation sometimes, but I don't like that I'm totally cut off from the rest of the world. I like to hear my surroundings. So like if someone calls my name, I can be like, hey, I will never buy those. It's dumb. Just turn up the volume. Unless like you're on a plane ride and then that can hurt your ears. But this is my other favorite. This is probably my favorite favorite because um, just look at that. It's just so detailed and just so nice. Like it's got all of these blues and these oranges. And the green just looks really cool. And I can't wait to open them up just to see them. Although I don't want to open this one up because it's really nice. Oh, wait. Did I only get one of those? Wait a minute. These are all of the ones that I got. And I only got one of that one. That one's my favorite. I have so many of the pastel ones. And they'll probably be around for a while. I am going to get each denomination for that. Let me, I'm just going to set that one aside so I remember. But um, I got so many of the crayon ones, but the crayon ones are nice. I have two of those, okay. And then this one we have on the different shapes. It's kind of cool. I really dig it. Um, I kind of like that it kind of looks like Claris works or some of Apple's like 90s kind of box design um, kind of fun deco art things. So that one's really cool. So I got a bunch of them that um, were my faves. And we're not going to be opening those up. But this one, I don't really like. It kind of just looks like a card that you would give to a teacher. And then this one, I mean, it's kind of cool. But it looks like a game of Agario just went, like, so wrong. And that, like, you couldn't eat each other. But you were just eating the bubbles. And then the game got filled. And then it ends up crashing and killing your PC. Like, that's what this reminds me of. And I don't know about you, but I think Purple over there is really going to win. I mean, he is ginormous. And I also really like the tagline, the gift card for everything, instead of, like, App Store and iTunes Store. And they were still selling these during iOS 13 when iTunes wasn't a thing. And I didn't realize that, oh, yeah, that's right, that's on there. And if iTunes doesn't exist anymore, I mean, it doesn't exist, it's still there, but, like, you have to look for it. I'm like, why, why is that still on there? And also, it's a way for them to advertise all of the services you shouldn't buy, except for Apple Music and Apple TV+. Plus. And iTunes is still written on there. So, you know, iTunes isn't dead by any means. It's just 
hidden because they want you to get Apple Music and you should get Apple Music. It's the best thing ever and I'm going to do a review on that and I do really like the cards. So we gotta get our little unboxing chamber out here, mate. And then I gotta start the video. All right, we are ready to do the unboxing. So if you look on the back side, oh, it's hollow. Oh, wait, I gotta try that with fl Oh, oh, it doesn't, it works better without flash. Oh, that's so cool, I really like that. So in traditional Apple fashion, you have that peel sticker on these, you just kind of stick them off and then you get the little folder there to send it to someone. Whatever, you saw it in the beginning, I'm not fishing for it. We're not doing an unboxing here. So do 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 do. Oh, so it's not the whole thing. I'm gonna do the other one. Ooh, very nice sounding, very nice, very nice. I'm not gonna save these, okay? I'm not that. Does it have the apple smell though? Oh, it does. These are fresh from the factory. Oh, that's, oh my God, it's not even a card anymore. It's just a piece of paper. I was totally not expecting that. God damn it, I'm in the middle of an unboxing and all of a sudden I hear, go and eat your dinner. Like, Roman, you're not my mom. Stop yelling at me. I mean, he, he, he yells at me, but then I can't yell at him because he then calls me mom. Wait, I just noticed something. Look at the Fs and shuffle. They're not detached. Was that on purpose? It's on both sides. Okay, this is totally like the N in 7-Eleven, where you don't realize that's lowercase until someone tells you. Classic Apple fashion. It surprises me every day. Like, literally, this needs to be like a study in college. Super slick. It's the same on the back. And then there's their codes. And these are all deactivated, so, you know, whatever. I did not put money on any in any of these cards. So, you get the same guff as the back, although... Okay, um, Apple, I don't know if you know this, but you changed that music logo both in Mac OS and iOS, and that also says copyright 2020. So, was that red retro music logo just... A throwback to iOS 8 for all of us people that like understand that and like are like wow it's back to the iOS 7 days because on your packaging here it doesn't reflect that so I mean yeah I guess you got some work to do we may see changes in this definitely might see changes in this the little card and then it has a little like what wait is this a sticker oh my god it's a sticker that's stuck on the card okay Okay, we got to try to take one of these off. And I got to put this on like the back of my... I, this one I'm going to try to take off. Can, can you do it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a sticker! Oh my god! That's so cool! Oh my god! And then look, it's got the little... Uh, it's got like some cool like Ventiport design here. Yo, this totally makes up for the fact that you can't get one sticker in your iPhone. Just, just, just take one of these from the store. Holy cow! That's like, I, I, that, that's awesome. That, 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 that is awesome. This one a sticker too? Oh, they're all stickers. That, that is, that is super cool. And it's like empty now. It's like got like a little empty tab in it. Oh, well, look at that. You can see through the other side. And then this is recyclable cardboard, but we're going to see the engineering of the packaging. So this comes off like that, and then we're going to rip it right down the middle. I can get more of these things. But how is this designed? Okay, so that's just a slip of paper. And then there's like a number on top, but it just folds over like this, and it's just welded into place. Where these, it's got like this plastic filament. So these are more recyclable now, which is very nice. But damn, Apple, you going out of your way to give people stickers with their gift cards? Damn. And also, Apple are like the only people I know that are really innovating in the gift card game. Like Xbox, you haven't changed your gift card design. But oh my God, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my God. Look, I, I can feel them. The stickers are on the side of the packaging. I tell you, I'm an expert. 